of the Go Pamir trip. Why Go Pamir? Because we're heading to the Pamir area and we're gonna see a lot of amazing places. Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. A lot of things to do, a lot of uh, things to see. It's amazing. I love doing it. Let's go. I'm having a snack. I'm having a. I'm having a snack right now. Some biscuits. They're very good. Because it's been a long day and I'm really, really hungry. And uh, I picked this place to stop. Why? Picture this. Imagine your favorite pass in the Alps, with no gravel, no traffic, and with the possibility to stop wherever you want and to stay as long as we wish because no one will bother you.
that's exactly what I'm good at, you know, doing completely idiot things, falling in <laughs> on this surface. I, I have no excuse, I was a bit afraid of the box, but it seems that besides this scratch it is okay, which is very cool, because these are plastic cases, they're not very tough, but it seems to be resistant. What well, next? The crush bar is okay, nothing, no scratch on the fairings, and this uh, hand guard, okay, not such a big deal. Now, this is how an adventure bike should look like. <laughs> Let's go. Hai, că poate mai cad odată. There. I'm in a yurt right now, in a yurt camp on the shore of the Songkul Lake in Kyrgyzstan and I am exhausted. It's okay over here because uh, inside the yurt it's hot, it's warm because there's a fire pit over there but outside it's really cold. I mean uh, su somewhere be below 10 degrees Celsius and I couldn't get used to the local time and um, yeah now my back is hurting my neck is hurting my knee is also hurting so what I'm gonna do right now is to go to sleep to turn off the light and uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna show you this fascinating place I promised you before, I'm gonna show you the Songkul Lake, which is at uh, 3000 meters altitude. It's in the middle of the mountains. It looks amazing. Check out this yurt. It was the one I slept last night. It was comfortable. <laughs> and uh, what you're seeing over here uh, is happening only during the summer months because uh, you, you can't live here all over the year because it's very cold and it's a lot of snow and uh, the roads are closed so the Kyrgyz, the Kyrgyz people are coming here with their animals during the summer months and some of them uh, created these youth camps for tourists.
We're in the Taj Rabat Valley and what you're seeing right there behind me is the Taj Rabat Caravanserai, which is a kind of inn that was used to accommodate the traders on the Silk Road. Uh, it is here since the 15th century. There are some rooms in there and uh, it's located at about 3000 meters. So uh, this must have been a very important place on the Silk Road trading route. to like the Africa Twin very much on this kind of roads because first of all it's very comfortable because it has a very good suspension so I feel very comfortable even sitting on the bike so I don't have to stand on the bike in off-road uh, this is the DCT version so now I'm running in the G mode I have the ABS turned off on the back wheel and also the traction control is on its lower intervention uh, level so now I can slide my rear and have fun as much as I want and this, this is a road to, to have fun now we're descending the mountain and <laughs> there's a spectacular valley over there it's like being on another planet And we're almost on top. This is the Kadamo Pass and this is the road, gravel road and it's been like this for two days. I must admit it's a, it's a bit harder than on the asphalt. <laughs> but I like it. I mean, you have this road, this bike, this view, this country, Kyrgyzstan. That's why I came all this long way to Kyrgyzstan to have this feeling and uh, now we're heading to Osh which is the second largest city in Kyrgyzstan and I'm very curious to see what's there
We just entered the Pamir Highway, or the Pamirsky track as is known in Russian and we are at a very high altitude right now. I can feel it because of the lack of oxygen. I'm a bit sensitive when it comes to that. I feel like I have not enough air and it's very hard for me to control the bike actually. But other than that, I'm really excited. Really, I'm really excited because uh, now we're entering the so-called roof of the world. I'm very excited because this was one of the most important parts of this trip. It's the Pamir Highway. The amazing Pamir Highway. We just arrived at the Pig Lenin base camp. And the Pig Lenin sits somewhere at around 7,000 meters, more than 7,000 meters. And it is said that the Pig Lenin is among the easiest to climb in Central Asia. And that's why a lot of people are coming here to get used to the uh, altitude, because we're at 3,500 meters right now, and you have to spend a couple of days here in order to be ready to go over there to the peak. As you know, I don't like high altitude places, so I'm gonna just make some photos and after that, I'm gonna go back to the valley because you know what? The Pamir Highway is waiting for us and it's right over there. And the Pamir Mountains and Tajikistan, they're all waiting for us and we have to go and there are a lot of more beautiful things to discover. So, I think that's it. I think I had enough.